Hello, my name is Maria Waldinger. I'm an economist at the IFO Institute in Munich, and I do research on climate change impacts and adaptation to climate change and environmental pollution. So one of the most researched topics over the past 10 years has been the consequences of climate change. And what I'm especially interested in is the questions about the impact of long-term and gradual climatic change. In my research, I look way back and study how historical periods of climatic change have impacted European economies. For example, I studied how temperature changes during the Little Ice Age between about 1500 and 1850 affected European economies. During the Little Ice Age, weather in Europe became colder and wet. So as a result, growing periods were shorter and crops grew less. My findings show that the Little Ice Age had substantial effects on the European economy. And it had substantial effects because it impacted agricultural productivity. To analyze whether or not there was adaptation, I study adaptation in the European economy through trade. I analyze data on 900,000 trade ship journeys between 700 European port cities over a period of 250 years. And what I find here is that cities that were more exposed to the cool conditions of the Little Ice Age started trading more. So there was evidently this effort to adapt to the cooler temperatures. When I compare cities that were part of a long distance trading network to other cities that were not part of such a network, I find that those cities that were well connected were substantially less affected by temperature changes compared to those that were not. But why is that? Why is it the case that cities that were better connected through trade were in a better position to avoid the negative impacts of the Little Ice Age? One explanation is that it was much easier for these cities to specialize. So for example, a city with existing trading relationships could easily start importing grain from another region and then specialize domestic production on the manufacturing sector. So what do these results tell us for today? So first of all, they tell us that these long-term and gradual temperature changes had a substantial effect on the European economy. Then we have seen that agricultural productivity was an important mechanism through which temperature affected the economy. And that means that today, economies that are especially dependent on the agricultural sector are expected to suffer more from the impacts of climate change. Europe today obviously is much less dependent on the agricultural sector than in the past, but many developing countries are not. And these results highlight their vulnerability to the impacts of climate change. Finally, we've seen evidence that trade has been an important coping mechanism for European economies to deal with the impacts of the Little Ice Age. Many countries today are very well connected with others through trade, but other countries, especially development countries, are not. And the barriers that many developing countries today face makes them much more vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. So an important pathway to reducing the vulnerability of developing countries today would be to reduce barriers to trade, especially between developing countries and developed countries. For more information on my research or on this paper, please go to the EVO website. Thank you very much.